everyone. It is a snap on Tuesday. We're in the beast. I wanted to bring it home last night, play some music and mess around with stuff. Have a little drive in this for a change. Snap on Tuesday. Currently 7.02. So we've got Vauxhall Corsa coming in first thing. I've got to check out the parking sensors because they've stopped working. I've got to change the rear camera cable that goes between the front camera and the rear camera because they fitted the wrong one and cut it. And now nothing works. I think they've probably ruined the camera, but we'll see. Uh, then I've got an Audi TT coming in. Now I've got to remove the hedge unit and fascia kit that we put in a little while ago. And then I've got to reinstall it in his T5 or T6. Add a new fascia kit. And also get the Mercedes Sprinter done from yesterday. It's going to be a crazy, crazy day. And Jody. And anything else that rocks in through the door. Shut up. times. Turns out it was a bit wet then. Um, so we've had, weirdly enough, we've had a uh, person view the house. Uh, they were, Liz was not told, wifey was not told that they were coming. They turned up out of the blue, which kind of shocked her a bit because the house wasn't cleaned, like as we normally do for a house viewing. And I said to her, because she was all mortified that somebody had come and she hadn't even bothered cleaning it. And I said to her, all of the effort that we've done for the people that have viewed it and how far we've got, I said, these will be the ones that are really interested in it because it's just a normal house that they've seen. They've not seen anything tidied up and all that sort of stuff. And funnily enough, I had a call from our estate agent last night. They want to put in an offer and he has said that they've looked at loads of houses and so far ours is their favorite. They really like it. It's got a real homely feel about it. So we've now like looking looking good. Hopefully he's gonna put in a nice offer to where we can afford uh, and then we get to pick houses. Obviously the Rotten High Street one is still in Liz's mind, but we're not gonna pay for the asking price now because the price has dropped. So we're gonna negotiate hard than we did before because why not but we've also been to look at a few more and there's others on the market that we're looking at bit of a crazy situation everything's go gonna get off to work i've got a hiccup so i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> i'll see you soon <laughs> right we'll come back to this in a minute sprint has come back in and we're making headway with the uh Hey there, fish kit, but we've got a problem, so we will discuss in a mo. But right now is a Jody. Oh, another trade in, yeah, yeah, 53 Little with side locker, classic heritage, heritage, heritage oh, okay, yeah. 53 heritage. So they stopped making them for a while, but they've got some like mothballs in here, I mate. Just sprayed some, um, You've been farting, <laughs> <laughs> some what, some Zaflora, Zaflora, the, um, not not the ceiling, mountain air, Zaflora, yeah. not the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, so fair enough. Right, so same stuff. Same stuff. Let's, let's start off with some sweeties. As you got to do, as you do. Try again. Honestly, couldn't write this stuff. Hmm. Right then. I don't you know what I'll hold you. Let's have a little look at some tools. Right, so we've got same flyer. Same flyer, um, yes. Monthly flyer. Monthly flyer. No digital stuff. No, nope. not at the moment, I don't know why. Giving Joe a hard time to sell stuff. Yeah. Um, Come on, snap on, we need all the funky stuff. Loads of different stuff. Yeah, loads of stuff on the front of it. Must be moved about. Oh, you've got broken spanners. Yeah, some twisted ones. Like, what's the point in the twist? Uh, someone said to me, like, it's quite good if you wanted to hit, sometimes if you had to hit a spanner, it's quite flat. You can obviously, oh, okay. rather than... And put more torque on it than leaning on, on the edge. On, yeah. Are they are they rated any different? Like, have you ever seen these break? I to be aware, I've never really had them on special. This is the first time I've ever had them on special. What are they? Six, what are they going for? About one hundred and fifty quid. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm. Um, sockets, obviously sockets. You had the twelve point ones that were on deal mm -hmm. the other week. Um, that's about it, really. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Hoping for another refresh on Friday. 
More stock. Yeah, brushes stuff's been selling well. Hand box, it's obviously picked up Monday. So mm. What was that trading? Yeah, for the app, one of those epics, one of those great epics I did. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, more yeah. space in that than both yes. of that. Yeah, how funny! I know. Problem is, this is only obviously 20 deep, isn't it? Yeah, you know, so obviously you've got that six inches more, and it's obviously a taller box altogether. Six inches, bud, and 84. This is 53. <laughs> Makes all the difference, six inches. Six inches. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, transmission jack um, on deal there. Um, Is that like the standy up thing? Yes. Yeah. That's about it really. The yeah, most up of the stuff's thing. Um, similar to what it was. Like an oil drainer with rinse. I opened rinse. these yesterday for someone, then put them on the magnet, then they fell off and now I've lost one. Oh no. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere Fine, in here. It's like a turn, it just disappears. Stickers? Any stickers? Peace, love, and tools. Amen to that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Key rings. Key rings. Tool storage by Snap On. Oh. Yeah, so coffee pet yeah doing a few bits and pieces like free gifts for toolbox and stuff like that um big ass light big ass bonnet light um yeah mm -hmm. mm. So hopefully we'll have new stuff next week do you get your is stock orders like once a once a week is it and no, we get it delivered on a friday oh, okay Straight five buzz, you saw those ones obviously. Yeah. Last week. Got some long ones again. Yeah, I've still got mine. Yeah. My big red one. Big red one, yeah. So hell of a sword. A big old beast. Ah, so a bit of a same same. Yeah, yeah. It's disappointing. Yeah. It doesn't give you the ability to tempt people with no. st stupid stuff that we need to buy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, sorry, not need to buy, not but we want buy. it anyway. Not anyway, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. Cool, well, that's it for us. Anyone for a trade-in? Get in touch with Joe. McLaren Sports. Yeah. That's Hamilton's helmet, isn't it? I think so, I believe so, yeah, it was, yeah. Who's the other dude? Um, what would it have been that year? Would it have been Alonso or something, was it? Or? Oh, it might have been, yeah. Mm. Okay. All right, let's give you some pennies. Right then, guys, Mercedes is done. I've now got to remove the radio from this to go in his other car. We have a... We have a possessed TT, look. There's nobody here touching anything. It's not a happy boy. So we've got to take this unit out, put the old one back in. Don't know how I'm going to get the microphone down, so I can't open the roof. And obviously we've got microphone cable through here. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an issue. All right, all right, all right. Shut up, you stupid thing. But it is not happy. See you in a bit. Right, possessed Audi is finished with. All of this is back to normal. It's got his Audi unit back in there. <coughs> Finally finished the Merc. The correct fascia has turned up. So no longer are we looking at this POS. Lovely nice Pioneer in there, look at that. CarPlay and Android Auto, microphone up there, the AV aerial, obviously USB. Ready to rock and roll. So this one's done. See you in a bit, everyone. Right then, my dudes, approaching into the afternoon. Just turn this down. The music is, um, is, is coming on shall I say. Now, um, we discussed this earlier about songs and people are like, yeah, 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 give us more songs, give us more songs. So here's another one for you. You Give Me A Feeling by Vintage Culture James Hype. If you've got a bassy stereo, that 
is a tune. All right, something to try. Now, I've just had a moment. I've been on the phone with Kicker because they are an importer for these kind of speakers. Uh, let me run you up to speed. So this is an Audi A4, a Vant, and you know we, we've got the front and rear doors to do. The rear kit, that one there, is still made, which is this ceiling ring here. So what that'll do is it's a three-way mounting ring, one, two, three, and that will basically sit on that inner panel there, like thus. There we go. And it will give us mounting for a 17 centimeter speaker. Okay, so that's the rear one kind of taken care of. Now the front one, technically, according to the list of uh, parts, the one that we need is a CT25AU03. It's an internal three, three way screw adapter and an outer 17, oh, sorry, an outer 13 centimeter speaker. Now, I'm guessing that's what these guys were trying to achieve by having that mounted on the door and then the inner drive being where the speaker fits onto the, the, the sorry, the panel fits onto the door card and then the speaker fitted over it. Now the problem is to get these screws out the way of the speaker and not cause that kind of damage to a speaker, you're kind of stuck because unless you've got that countersunk adapter which has the connection to the door card internal and the speaker external you're screwed they don't make that anymore so i was just scratching my head figuring out what i'm going to do and i've come up with this plan this is a burock speaker designed for the bmw market okay it's a component set the 303c has a ceiling ring on it and a three-way star See the connections? One, two, three. Guess what? <laughs> Sometimes my genius amazes myself. We can actually get with some longer screws that to line up perfectly on the door. The sealing ring will seal against the plastic so the speaker is protected internally. That will fit. We put our inputs out there, crossover, tweeter. We will technically have a component set on this door without the need for an adapter. So we can kind of go back to having a, a component set on the car properly without it causing an issue uh, with, with size and, and wrong fitment. How cool is that? So if you've got an Audi A4 B5 chassis, a 1995 to 2001, get yourself a set of Burock 303Cs components for the front doors, because the ceiling ring fits, so do the screw holes, everything lines up. Hey. Sometimes, I swear to God, boys, right? I'm, I'm, I'm in Jesus. Hey. <laughs> uh, what a legend, huh? See you in a bit. Right then, dudes. End of snap on Tuesday. Let me just turn this down. So we are shutting up shop for today. I've got to get home. Jess's birthday today. She's big eight. Bless her. So we've got to have a little uh, party tonight. Uh, tweeter is in, look at that, absolutely fits perfectly. This is a BMW kit and it fits an Audi. Um, tweeter ring placement is all good, holds it in with the securing metal tab, everything fits. Even speakers in now, screwed into its location with some longer screws, but the ceiling ring has taken purchase on the plastic properly. So um, we can then plug in our crossover, ins and outs. We can change the plug, obviously this was in here before, Focal. So we'll just take that off of there, add that onto this. Tweeter, mid-range tweeter, happy days. A solution for the Audi. I've just uh, I just phoned Celsius and told them they're the uh, kicker importer uh, and just basically said, hey guys, you know your Burock speakers fit Audi B5 chassis perfectly, <laughs> tweeter and mid-range. So they're, they're like, oh, is it really? Like we're gonna tell on the sales team. Yeah, do that, um, what a win. Love it when stuff like that happens and everything is good. But that's it. Um, I've got to shoot off home, see Jess, because she'll be itching for dad to get back and make a fuss of her as, she's, uh, as it's her birthday today. So fish and chips tonight. Can have a little lazy one. Been a busy day. Uh, Mercedes has gone. Obviously that's now got a plan. We know what we're doing with the Audi. Tomorrow, I think I've got a couple of cars in for um, checks. Uh, obviously we had one cancel this morning, one stitch up. Uh, they won't be back ever again. 
waste of bloody time. But other than that, guys, I'm going to sign off. Love you and leave you. End of snap on Tuesday. Nothing on the van that we needed. Bit of a disappointment day. Um, but I think it's more snap on disappointment than Jody's fault. The flyer is running for a month. Digital uh, flyers have not happened yet. So they're just trying to punt out the same thing for three weeks. And if it's a bad week, when they punt out the three weeks, that, that bad session runs for a month. Which is not the best idea. Not the best idea. Anyway. See you in the morning. Take care. Bye.